Luke Bryan is one of the biggest country stars at the moment and he's been on a steady climb to making himself a country legend. If you look at his success now, you might be surprised at how far he's come since his early days of small town living. I've seen some comments requesting a video on Luke and being a big fan of the music myself, I was more than happy. In this video, we'll look at where Luke and his family call home, including his properties in Tennessee, Florida, and much more. Thomas Luther Bryan, better known to us all as Luke Bryan, is a country music singer and songwriter hailing from Leesburg, Georgia. I personally can always tell if it's Luke singing a song because he has such a unique voice. Apparently, it's because of his high baritone range. Luke's first nine albums included 23 number one hits, so I think that gives you an idea of his popularity. 2013, he was named Entertainer of the Year by the Academy of Country Music Awards, and his album from the same year, Crash My Party, received the first album of the decade award too. Besides Luke's musical talents, last year he joined on as a judge on American Idol alongside Katy Perry and Lionel Richie. At the time of this recording, Luke is 43 years old and married to his college sweetheart Caroline, with whom he has two sons. In 2018, Luke earned $52 million alone, making him one of the world's highest paid country stars. His current estimated net worth is over $140 million. Hey guys, it's Karen. Today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Today we're going to be taking a look at where Luke Bryan calls home, including his family home in Brentwood, Tennessee, his place in Florida, and more. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified we post. You can always be up to date. We've also done house tours in the likes of Jessica Simpson and Tom Brady, and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram because I love connecting with you guys. I've also been reading all your comments and I'm going to be responding to some at the end. I need you to let me know who to do next in the comments down below and whose home you'd like to see. I'd also love to do more country stars, so if that's something you guys are interested, let's make it happen. Now let's get into this video. <laughs> kind of a way for me to pay tribute to how I was raised is to come out here and play my music on these farms. We'll start with Luke's main home in Tennessee, which is actually a farm. Family had been working on this home for quite some time and getting it built while they lived in the guest house on the property. Luke lives here with his wife Caroline and they have two sons, Thomas and Tate. Not to mention Luke's family experienced tragedy some years ago when his older sister passed in 2007 and her husband passed seven years later. Luke and Caroline then stepped in and adopted their three nieces and nephews. These days I know their nephew Tilden who's 15 still lives with them but I believe their nieces went off to college. Regardless, Luke and Caroline obviously have their hands full. Luke's farmhouse is located just south of Nashville, Tennessee. It's in Brentwood, which is still part of Nashville, just a suburb. It's part of Middle Tennessee, and homes in the area sell for an average of 700k. It sounds pretty modest, but considering all the work Luke put into building his dream farm, I'm sure he spent close to the multi-million dollar range. Luke named the farm the Red Bird Farm for his sister Kelly that passed away because he wanted to honor her. Him and his wife have a main house on the property, a guest house, a huge party barn, and a large barn for rescued animals. Luke got help designing his Nashville home from interior designer Chad James, and he constructed the little farm into a renovated modern home, yet kept a weathered farmhouse feel. The property spans 150 acres of land, and while Chad was working on the main house and barn, Luke and the family were able to live in the guest house like I mentioned. Luke's main home on the property spans just under 10,000 square feet of living space. If you follow Caroline on Instagram, you see the inside of their home pretty often on her posts. And it looks like the family is all together there during these quarantine times. Luke's guest house here spans 1,800 square feet and is really a full home in itself, so the family could comfortably stay there. It has three beds, two baths, a living room, a full kitchen, upstairs media room, a front porch, and another screened in porch on the side which also leads you down to a catfish pond. The party barn is where the couple hosts events, many for charity. It spans 7,000 square feet and Luke apparently got his inspiration for the barn from a visit to Blackberry Farm in Knoxville, which hosted an album release party and was featured in Billboard magazine. His designer Chad said, One day we were out there and Luke said, have you ever been to Blackberry Farm? If you can make this farm look like Blackberry Farm, I'll be the happiest man on this planet. Luke and Caroline named their newly renovated barn, Brett's Barn, on the farm after Caroline's late niece who passed away from 
from a heart condition at only seven months old. Many of the special events Brett's Barn hosts raise donations for the Brett Boyer Foundation, which go towards research for advanced treatment options for kids with congenital heart disease. They also have a ton of rescue animals on their farm, which sounds like my lifelong dream. Caroline revealed that she had promised Brett a pony and delivered her promise through a special white horse named Kilo and wrote on Instagram. We always knew we would find for Brett the perfect pony, but never thought she wouldn't be here to love it. They also have a rescue goat named Goober Goldsby who was abandoned after birth, several mini horses, pigs, and at least one donkey. Not to mention there are dogs, chickens, and more. All of the animals look so cute. I hope to have a farm like this one day. On Luke's farm property, there's also a lake, fruit trees, orchards, and much more. Not only does Luke have a family farmhouse in Nashville, him and Caroline also own a beachfront getaway in sunny Florida. Located on a powdery stretch of sand on Santa Rosa Beach, Florida, you'll find the family's vacation home. This house was originally built in 1988, but the Bryans got the help of an architect, Jeff Chick, to help redesign and reimagine the outdated layout of the home. They also added another floor so now the home is four stories high and the beach house has a southern style. Luke named his Florida home Snowman to honor his late brother Chris who died in a car crash when Luke was 19. It references a sport Chris loved, golf, and it's slang golfers use for scoring an 8 on a single hole. Not to mention the name also suits the house because it's all white outside. Luke and Caroline hired their friend Chad James to do the interior design in this place as well, the same friend who designed their Nashville home. The home is meant to be a place where the whole family can spend time together and Chad wanted the house designed to reflect and serve the family's need for peace. Caroline said about their Florida home, This is where Luke and I can actually relax and not run 100 miles per hour. Typically all five kids are here with us. There is nothing better and Luke can fish all day which makes him the happiest man on the golf. And we know Luke is a simple man who likes to fish and be at the beach so this place is perfect. The color scheme inside the house is a blend of neutrals and ocean blue, so it feels like a vacation. Designer Chad said, We wanted to tap into the exterior elements. I have a favorite moment right where the water meets the sky. It's always such a beautiful dark blue. I use that for an accent color and everything else pulls from the palette of sand and seagrass, neutral natural colors. There's lots of whites as well and natural light coming in making the space look even bigger. Not to mention with the new redesign, the ocean is now visible from every part of the home. Common living spaces in Luke's house have high beam ceilings, tall windows and white walls, and you can take in the outside surroundings easily. Rugs and cozy furniture make the family room feel homey at the same time. The attached kitchen has marble countertops and accents, more white in the design like the cabinets and the pine hardwood floors Luke actually salvaged from a factory in Georgia. Luke and Caroline's master bedroom here has a spacious ensuite, walk-in closet and balcony. The home's large terrace comes complete with an outdoor shower, porch swing, and comfy casual furniture. It also serves as the home's formal dining room because who wouldn't want to eat with an ocean view? There's a long oak table surrounded by wicker furniture making sure there's space for the whole family. Looking at Luke's Florida escape, it's no wonder the whole family loves it. So now we've seen Luke, Brian, and his wife Caroline's properties including their gorgeous farmhouse in Nashville they designed from the ground up and their vacation getaway spot on Santa Rosa Beach, Florida. It seems that Luke has the best of both worlds, a lively farm is his main house that not only has a ton of land but also has meaning to him and his family and a spot on the beach they can go whenever they need a change of scenery. I really love that Luke and Caroline have so much space on the farm, not only for a gorgeous 10,000 square foot main house and their family, but also for rescue animals. Having that large barn and using their property to raise all of those animals in need is super cute. Did you guys like Luke's properties? Which was your favorites? I love them both, but personally I like his Nashville farm best. That definitely goals for me. Okay guys, now read us some comments from previous vids. From our recent Jessica Simpson house tour, Rose Willega said, I love Jessica's homes, as I was born in Texas too. I love the cow out in the yard and beautiful land property, and as for the home, just beautiful. Love all the windows. And on the same vid, Sunny D said, I love, love, love her new home. I'm a huge fan of the blue color she uses to accent her house, and how romantic yet not too feminine it seems. I loved her house too. Alright guys, that's all I could find on Luke Bryan and his family's homes like his farm in Nashville and Florida getaway. What did you guys think about his places? What did you like best? Let me know in the comments as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat more and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!